speak tonight about the illusion of free will. Now, now most people think we have a, a subjective, a, st a strong subjective experience of free will. And the problem is just that we can't map it on to physical reality. This, I think, is an illusion. I think, I, I think we actually do not feel as free as we think we do. This, this relies on us not paying very close attention to what it's like to be us. If you pay attention, you can see that you, you no more author the next thing you think than the next thing I say. Thoughts just emerge in consciousness. We are not authoring them. That would require that we think them before we think them. If you, if you can't control your next thought and you don't know what it's going to be until it arises, where is your freedom of will? The, the truth is we feel or presume an authorship over our actions over a certain and thoughts, over a certain channel of information in our conscious minds that is illusory. So, so how can we be free as conscious agents if everything that we consciously intend is caused by things we did not intend and of which we are entirely unaware? We can't. For, from the perspective of your conscious mind, you are actually no more responsible for your next thought than you are for your, your birth into this world. You have not built your mind. And in moments where you seem to build it, where you finally take the reins of your life and, and, you, and you, you decide to acquire knowledge or, or learn a new skill, the only tools at your disposal are those which you've inherited from moments past. No one picks their parents or the, or the society to which they were born. No one picks the moment in history in which they live. No one picks their genes or their, the environmental influences that determine the structure of their brain. You, you are no more responsible for the, the exact structure and state of your brain in this moment than you are for your height. What you, what you do based on conscious, predetermined decisions says more about you than anything else. Thoughts simply arise in the mind. But the, the idea that we as conscious beings are deeply responsible for the characters of our minds simply can't be mapped onto reality. And if we want to be guided by reality rather than by the fantasy lives of our ancestors, I think we have to revise our view.